Everyone's gathered outside. How come we didn't get invited? It looks like some kind of ceremony. My loyal and beloved subjects, Saurian Antiqua speaks. I have been your emperor for little more than 20 years. But today, I stand before you in celebration. So that's the High Entia Emperor, Saurian Antiqua. I will remain your emperor for years to come. But now is the time to announce my successor. May I introduce your crown princess? And there's the lady herself. Melia Antiqua! It's... it's her. She's... she's a princess. Took you long enough. <sighs> her silver spoon accent was a clue. But royalty? My daughter, Melia Antiqua, will depart immediately to face the tomb. She will seek the approval of our ancestors and become... Your crown, princess. The people are fickle. No mask can hide that girl's contaminated blood. First consort, all the pieces are in place. Say the word and the captive Homs shall be no more. The savage who discovers fire remains a savage. Disappointed or not, his highness will turn a blind eye to their fate. And their removal will deprive Melia of some powerful allies. As you say. Mother? We continue to endure the contamination of our bloodline by perpetuating this wretched tradition of a High Entia First Consort and a Hom Second Consort. For how long must I suffer these Homs? Do your duty, Tyrea. As you wish. That mask. Melia. I don't doubt that was Melia. But why the mask? I don't know. But she's different from the other Hyentia. How do you mean? Melia not like other bird people. Many like Hom Hom friends. You might be right. But there are things at play here we can't understand. Wait a minute! Oi! You'll give a Homs a heart attack shouting like that? We've got no time to lose. Melia needs our help. Again? You had another vision, didn't you? What did you see? Out with it already! Excuse me. We ordered room service an hour ago. I'm afraid you've already eaten your last meal. Ah. Oh. Right 
grind time. Well played, Dumban. Who are these guys? Shulk. These are Inquisitors. What is this? More of them! Wait. This is His Highness Kallion, brother to Her Highness Melia. Melia's brother? Do not concern yourself, Your Highness. The matter appears to have been resolved. Seer Alvis? I foresaw the danger. I rushed here, but seem to have missed the fun. They do not look like mere thieves. I am presuming they are Inquisitors of the Bionite Order. A group of assassins long devoted to the Imperial family. Ridiculous. The Bionite Order are a mere... Myth. The Order existed before records began. I, like many others, believed they had long since died out. Yet here they are before us. Is Father aware of this? I suspect he knows very little. He may not even be aware of their existence. They live amongst the shadows, never revealing their true faces. But that does not explain why they would attack these people. Wait, could that have been... No, there's no way. Kallion, Melia is in danger. She'll be killed as an altar if we don't find her soon. Killed? How can you be so sure? Shulk and I share the same gift. Another seer? Which would mean that you can see the future? That's why we have to find her. Now. Your Highness, as agreed, you will face the ritual alone. I thank you for escorting me. We wish you a safe return. As history has proven, all those who stake claim to the throne without merit will spend eternity as fallen spirits. I must prove my worth as the next ruler. And I am no less prepared to sacrifice my life than those that have fallen before me. Most wise, Your Highness. Watch your back, Your Highness. Unacceptable. Those who enter the tomb must do so alone. Her life, or death, is in the hands of fate. Those not worthy of the throne are exactly that. You can't seriously think that. This is your sister. This is Melia. Easy, Ryan. But Dumban! This ritual holds a special significance. It is wrong for us to interfere. I don't like it. But am I right in saying that the rules of this ritual affect only Hyentia? And if some strange Homs happen to get involved, it wouldn't cause a problem? Or is there some rule that prohibits Homs from entering the tomb? No, I suppose not. Then look at it this way. I don't need to know how big a deal this ritual is to your people. What I do know is that your sister's life is at stake. Cut us a break and will save her. Who are you? My name is Dunban. I'm sort of the protector of this mechon bashing band of Homs. Dunban. I know you. At the Battle of Sword Valley, you held back an entire wave of mechon with the Monado. You know a lot about a battle you never showed up to. My apologies. We do not concern ourselves with the wars of others be it against the Mekon or otherwise. I was only joking. You had your reasons. I can see that with all these defense systems, you don't really need to fight. 
Then it is decided. You can reach the tomb by transporter from the center gate. Her Highness has already entered. Shulk, you should hurry. This is the tomb. Defensive measures prevent intruders from entering. You will have to circumvent these to move within the tomb. One thing before we enter. Alvis, you can see the future like me. I am from a long line of seers dedicated to serving the Imperial family. My visions help to protect the Empire. But you're a Homs. Yes. But that is for another time. My ancestry is not easily explained, and my ability to see the future is equally complicated. You might say, I have my own ritual. Is it not the same for you? No. My visions appear suddenly, without warning. At first, they're obscure. Then, as it gets closer to the event, I start to understand. It seems you possess a power greater than I. I still have not seen any danger befall Her Highness. Not much use as a seer then, are you? Nothing passes you by, does it? Now you see why I asked for your help. What a lucky coincidence that I happened to see you in danger. A coincidence? But I've seen you use the Monado. The Monado has been passed down the Imperial line for generations. The Sword of the Bionis. It is compelled to do its master's bidding. Magnified greatly, it has the power to control the very fabric of our world. Ether. Control the ether, and your will is made reality. I willed it, and it happened. That is all. Perhaps due to that power, the High Entia sealed away the Monado for centuries. Eventually, it found its way into the hands of the Homs, and then you, Shulk. A coincidence, or something more? You must discover this yourself, for you are the one who wields the Monado. The Bionis is stirring. The ancestral altar lies deep beneath the seals. What trials await me, I wonder? I must not lose focus.
I have come to be judged on my legitimacy to the throne by the ancestral spirits. Permission granted. Commencing analysis of genetic data. It's so cold. There are remnants of ancient spirits in here. This is no ordinary chill. As I explained before, Dunban, the defense systems are designed to prevent uninvited... Well, what does this do? Don't touch!
You have done well, my descendant. Descendant? Are you the progenitor of Antiqua? Think of me as a recreation of said ancestor, possessing his thoughts and speech. But he passed away thousands of years ago. Do not mistake me for a living being. I am a replica of your ancestor. I am merely a projection of what he would be if you were to meet him now. I do not understand. But I do not suspect any falsehood in your words. It is beyond doubt. If I could feel, I would feel joy. I am not real, but I do not lie. Joy? What do you mean? The results of the gene analysis show Hom's gene integration of 80%. Estimates suggest evolution within eight generations. Our wishes are almost fulfilled. Wishes? Our purpose, as decreed by the Bionis, is linked to our genetic sequence. We have spent millennia analyzing sequences to free ourselves from the curse. Only a certain gene set will unlock the mechanism and set us free. I still do not understand. It is of no consequence. I grant you this seal. Is this... It is you who will rule the High Entia, and likely be their last. Revered ancestor, I... Look favorably upon you. <gasps> Explain yourself. Only Imperials are permitted to enter this place. I am the subject of Her Highness the First Consort. I need no permission. Mother's subject? No impure child of the Second Consort has the right to refer to the First Consort as Mother. I... See, Hom's half-breed has no right to the throne. <sighs> Who puts a great big hole somewhere like that? As I explained, it's a defense mechanism. What a mess, Ryan. Friend, not clever touching button. Ugh, I'm with these guys, Ryan. How was I supposed to know that was going to happen? What about your visions, eh? You think the two of you could come up with something? You know it doesn't work like that. It would have been useful, yes. Pair of fortune-telling frauds. You got us into this mess. And it's not the first time either. Hmm, Ricky, agree with Shulk. Why is it my fault all of a sudden? This time it is your fault. Precisely. Well... Um... Be thankful that we are all alive. I suggest greater care next time. Our journey will be longer, but we can still make our way deeper into the tomb. Okay. We can't waste another second. Melia needs us. Let's 
Keep up the pressure! Yeah, the electric gun will work, huh? Stand back! Get in there! Leave this to me! That is a big ball of... something. He'd look fun and sparkle. <laughs> it's 
It's not attacking us, at least. Oh. What's happening? Hey, look at that! Another defense mechanism. At a guess, we're looking at the tomb's guard. We're not getting past without a fight. Everyone, Melia needs us. We can't let this thing stop us. No problem. Time to break my record. Anyone would think we're not wanted. Are we ever gonna find her? I think you'll find we had to take the long way because somebody pushed a certain button. Hmm. Somebody mean Ryan? Shut it, hairball. It was just a button. Relax. She will be fine. This route will lead us to the ritual altar. But time is of the essence. We've got to hurry. There's no time to lose. Stay strong. Sorry, I got focus. Our heads, though.
The enemy's weak. But don't drop your guard. This one's mine. I don't have time for small fry. Bring it on. Oh, we can fight. do it. Okay. Now we're getting started. You never stood a chance. Let's not lose our heads, though. I can see this isn't pushing you at all. Huh. Almost bought it. Alvis, thank you. My pleasure, Shulk. Why did you come? The Monado gave me a warning that you were in danger. I'm just glad we made it. Hey, Shulk, 
Whoever that was is gone. So, they escaped. Shulk, everyone, I thank you. You saved me. Ricky, smiley, smiley, Millie, all safe, all thanks to Hero Born. Oh, oh. That's not how I remember it, Cheese Ball. <laughs> And that concludes my report on events in the tomb. Hmm. So, there are forces working in the shadows. However, this is purely circumstantial. Nothing can be proven. Hmm. Inquisitors of the Bionite Order. Dedicated and devoted to the Bionis. The Order was dissolved under the rule of the Emperor Lumion, 47th successor to the throne, due to its extreme practices. Like puppet masters pulling the strings from the shadows. I believe their bloodline was lost to the ages. Her Highness the First Consort is currently residing in the Tower of Investigation. The Ministry of Investigation's judgment should be imminent. Well, that may not be enough. I myself must shine a light on the truth. Agreed. Mother. Melia. Your Majesty. You have returned unharmed from the tomb. The forefathers have spoken. But if it hadn't been for Shulk... Callion has informed me of what happened. There is no reason to doubt your legitimacy to the throne. Believe in yourself, Crown Princess. Brother. Tomorrow will be the investiture ceremony. At the appointed time, you will become my successor. Be proud. I... I will. Melia, my child, I am overjoyed at how far you have come. You are truly worthy of the throne. Continue the legacy of your High Entia and Homs bloodline. You are the hope of Bionis. Ricky and friends help save Melly. Ricky very happy. We're all relieved. But something's still bothering me. What is it? Why was Melia chosen as the crown princess? Shouldn't Callion have been the one to ascend? And her foe in the tomb clearly opposed that decision. You have a point. Callion is more than a worthy candidate. What reason could they have for choosing Melia? And why would Callion go along with this? It's a mystery. Our apologies. His Majesty the Emperor summons you. Finally! It's gonna let us into Prison Island. Yeah. His Majesty awaits you in the audience chamber. He asks that you join him shortly. Yes? Shulk, forgive us for detaining you earlier. You and I are not of the same people. But this I must say, 
thank you for helping Melia Antiqua, my daughter. It was no small feat. Not at all. I too must apologize for meddling in your customs. We should not have interfered. She is a lucky girl to have met such unselfish people. In the times to come, a ruler will need support from individuals like you. I hear you seek the Mechon. Yes. The Mechon devastated our homes, and we lost many loved ones. Revenge is your goal? It is. You are honest. I do not want to hide our true intentions. Our very existence is at stake. Unwavering, too. Shulk, you are the master of the Monado. But there is something that must be said. What is it? Long before our forefathers built this empire, two titans, the Bionis and the Maconis, fought a vicious battle. Is this known among Homs? Yes. It is told to us as children. The two fought and died, killing many creatures in the process. Their remains became our worlds, bringing forth new life on Bionis. That's how we were made. The Bionis shall awaken once again. Alvis told me the same thing. This is not just the vision of a seer. All of Machna knows. The Telethia are as old as the Bionis itself. And now, they disturb the Aether. That disturbance can only lead to one thing. But why is this happening now? This is an inscription left by our forefathers. It is written, Descendants of Antiqua, when the Aether cries, the Bionis awakes. Mistake not the signs and heed the sword's return. Trap its power and assure eternal prosperity. All life born on Bionis affects the Aether. The Mechon's assault is just the beginning. And these events were set in motion when you used the sword against them. We used it because we... Because you needed to. Without it, you could not survive. I cannot dispute this fact. I believe the inscription speaks of these very events with the Mechon. But if their assault continues, if more lives are lost, soon the Bionis will awake. And not only the Hyentia, but all life will perish. Do you see, Shulk? You're talking about total extinction. Correct. Which is why the Mechon's invasion must be stopped. Then you'll help us. Your Majesty, we need Imperial sanction to enter Prison Island. Will you permit us entry? What will you do there? I saw it in a vision. We will fight a faced Mechon. They must pay for what they did. Then, you will have seen him, too. <sighs> On Prison Island, our forefathers sealed something away, just as they did to the Monado. All records have been lost, and there is now no way to know what it was. Is it connected to the awakening of the Bionis? I do not know, but our forefathers must have had good reason. We must trust their decision. Shulk, Allow me some time to deliberate. Above all else, I will consider the safety of Bionis. You are our Bionis brethren. We will not ignore your plight. I... understand. This is not our homeland. If you decide not to let us go, I will accept your decision. I am sorry. It's... okay. One more thing. Yes? I ask this not as Emperor Saurian Antiqua, but as a father. I do not demand that you act as Melia's protector, but I would be honored if you would be her friend. This is my humble request. It would be my honor. The Telethia are on the move. Yes. That fleshy fool will go for the Monado. 
What of the faces? Repairs to metal are complete. And Nemesis? Nemesis is... The Homs with the Monado. He has reached Erith Sea? Yes. Then there is only one place for them to go. Yet he will not dare unleash such power. <laughs> no matter. Bugs must still be exterminated. It is time to test our new toy. Commence the assault on Bionis. Can this be true? It will happen soon. I saw Melia. She was fighting a battle against a Mekon with a strange group of arms. Yes. That sword, could it be the... Could it possibly? And that location, was it... The vision is a sign. By your will, it can be changed. Hmm. For now, we must consider all things. Everything. The capital. And the lives of our people depend on it. Wow! What? Take a look at that! A high end to your air show! Bird people fly higher than not on birds! Oh. <laughs> they got some neat tricks. Shook! I think that's Melia up there. By the authority of our divine ancestors, I, Melia Antiqua, am honored to accept the responsibility of becoming your next benevolent ruler. Should I be deemed unworthy of this calling, or fail to protect the ancestors or the Bionis. I promise here and now to throw myself on the mercy of you, the people. Most majestic. That fragile girl in the forest is a distant memory. But which one is the real Melia? I ask this not as Emperor Saurian Antiqua, but as a father. I do not demand that you act as Melia's protector, but I would be honored if you would be her friend. No, it's not like that. They're one and the same girl. I think. And what did you see, Alvis? Oh, it's you. Don't play games. No need to be angry. I only wanted to analyze the boy. Which was the point, no? Hmm. I did not interfere with your ministerial affairs. In fact, you should be thanking me. I wonder if he feels the same. We have all the information we need. We know that such a Telethia cannot hurt them. You see? Nothing can befall him before he sees his dream fulfilled. Ranch! 
thanking you. Ah, nothing like an ether change and a new paint job. <laughs> we don't need her. Look at me. Look at me, goody two-shoes. Let's just see if you hold back the screams when his blade gets a taste of you. <laughs> I love a warm welcome. Let's settle this machine to machine. So they've got a new crown princess. Three cheers for Melia. Right, but we're still no closer to that murdering-faced Mekon. Once we reach Prison Island, we'll get our chance. I've seen us there. It must be true. Shulk, man. Maybe we can still persuade Big Wings. Melia's crown princess now. I reckon the Emperor might change his mind. Maybe. Rhine, the Emperor's request was clear. Give him time. There's more to this island than we know. Things are at play here that reach beyond our understanding. Dundon right. Ricky and friends visit Melly now. Hey, the adults are talking, Pops. Ricky want to see Melly. Ricky think Melly's sad too. She might like the distraction, all those stiff ceremonial duties. You decide, Shulk. Ricky say yes! <laughs> <laughs> 